everybody welcome back today's going to be a lazy day just a lazy day I am not feeling it today <sighs> something's out in my neck again yay me yay me so I don't know we're going to do what I can do I need to decorate my Christmas tree because right now it looks like this it's got you know like the holes in it and everything the kids hung a few ornaments on them but I need to do that so sometime this weekend that is getting done I got my little fireplace on here I have an electric fireplace that you know the TV stand electric fireplace this thing produces so much heat it, it really does so if you're ever wondering about one of these you probably could heat the whole living room with this so I'm doing that and let's see let me sit down I'm editing a video. I have a video that I filmed yesterday with my grandkids. My granddaughter. Listen, my granddaughter. She hides things. She hides things. She just hides things. It, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, my camera cord, she's hidden that before. Just different things. Well, she hid her brother's Olaf. So this is a video about her hiding her brother's Olaf. And, um... Uh, her decorating or, or showing us her Christmas tree ornaments. So I'm editing a video. There, there's I'm, I'm in the middle of an edit here. So I'm doing that. I really enjoy editing videos. I don't know. I I enjoy editing more than I like filming. So, but in order to edit, of course, you have to have something to edit. Now I just checked. Look at. Look at my cat. My cats love to sit up there. They just love to sit up there. They're they're about ruining this chair. I cover it once in a while. But it's 74 degrees in my living room just from that little fireplace thing. It's too hot for me. It's too hot. I might open some windows. I've been known to do that. Leave the furnace run and open windows. I've done that before. Oh, guess what else I did this morning? Doing laundry? I put the fabric softener in where the soap goes and the soap where the fabric softener goes. I don't know. So now I have to wash them twice, but oh well. It's not the first time I've ever done that. I don't know if you've done that, but I've been known to do that a couple few times. Well, I don't know. I don't. Fibromyalgia stinks. This really stinks. I got up feeling good. I was feeling fine. Got up feeling fine. And then got dressed. I'm only half dressed because I have my pajama pants on because they're just comfortable. So I got half dressed today, did my hair, got ready, put some makeup on, and then it hit. And when fibromyalgia hits, it's like an ache all over your body and you just want to go to bed. You're just tired and you want to go to bed. I have so many things that I could be doing today. This is not one of them. I don't have time for this. But I freaking ache everywhere. I'm trying to decide whether I should make my bed or go get back in my bed. I hate to go get back in my bed because then my day is done. Once I get in bed, I'm done. That'll be it for the day. That's it. I don't know. I have things to do. I have a tree to decorate. I need to go through all the Christmas presents that I bought because I think I'm done shopping. I just ugh, see my ache everywhere. I just need to make sure that I got, I just need to make sure, you know, like do a present count. I need to do that. So I don't know what I'm going to do. If you have fibromyalgia out there, I'm sorry. I feel bad for you because this stinks. This really stinks. All right. I think my bed's going to win on this one. Just a little PSA here, a little public service announcement. People that have fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue, we're not lazy. I'm not lazy. I'm not lazy at all. I, and I hate this. I hate having fibromyalgia. But people that have this aren't lazy. They're just exhausted. And it's an exhausted that you can't explain. It's like... You're tired and then you're just exhausted from the inside out. I just, uh, and I hate it. I hate it. I would rather not be exhausted because it, 
there's things in the day that I want to get done that I can't get done because I'm exhausted. I'm just exhausted. So if you have fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue, I feel for you. Or if you know somebody that has fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue and they say they're tired, they are. They're, they're exhausted. Or I remember like going to work and just getting off my bus and wanting to come home because I was just exhausted. You know how people would hang around and talk and everything. I could never do that. I just had to come home because there were days it, it took every bit of me to drive home you know all right well i'm gonna go lay down and i might talk to you later i might not we'll see one more thing all right do you guys have alexa at your house i just activated her <clears throat> so if you do do you ever tell her good morning in the morning when you get up because i do that once in a while and and sometimes it's funny and sometimes it's not alexa Good morning. Good morning. Tis the season to be jolly, and I fall la 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 love it. To get you dashing through the snow, ask me to sing a holiday song, and I'll make sure to slay it. Alexa, sing a holiday song. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Tidings we bring to you. All right. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's not, but sometimes it's really funny to get up, get up in the morning and tell your Alexa good morning. Alexa, stop. So try it. Try it some morning. Get out of bed. Say, Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Tis the season to be jolly, and I fall all oh, oh, oh. over. Alright, I'm going to go lay down. Well, crazy me, this is what it looks like to have fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. For those of you that don't know, let's explain this. This is it. This is what I do in the day when, I, when I'm just exhausted. When I'm exhausted. I feel bad for those people that have chronic fatigue. I do. I feel awful because I have it too. And there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. The only thing that you can do is just go to bed. Just go to bed. So this is what I do. I'll spend probably the rest of the evening in bed and it's, um, what time is it? It's 12.30 in the afternoon. I made it till 12.30 in the afternoon. But this is what I do. You know, I've got my water bottles and then I watch a lot of YouTube. I, I watch, I have my tablet and I watch a lot of YouTube videos. But this sucks. And this is all I could do. I have my heated blanket on. I have, I have a really, I don't know if you can see it. It's got cats all over it. I have a really, really good heated blanket and that helps a lot. But them suckers are expensive. Mine broke, you know, I go through about one a year, and I got this one on sale at Kohl's originally like $300, I paid about 100 for it, but still, those, those are expensive. So this is what I'll probably end up doing the rest of the day, and I have apps on my phone, I could order dinner, so, and sometimes even doing that takes energy. I don't know if you guys saw the video of the spoons, I will link it at the end. But it, it explains how people with chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia use their energy. Because energy means something. I know to a normal person, it's like, just go, 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 go. Well, I have to conserve energy sometimes if I know I'm doing something. Or sometimes, you know, it's, this is just an awful thing to have. So to all of you out there with chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia that might be in bed right now, hang in there, take a nap. Tomorrow's a new day. Well, I'm out of bed for a hot minute. A hot minute. I look awful. I feel awful. And I thought, I woke up thinking, I want hot chocolate. I haven't had hot chocolate in a year, but I think I want hot chocolate. But fibromyalgia, man, 
it gets you. I can hardly walk. Walking hurts. Everything hurts. It just all hurts. I get. I did sleep for oh, probably an hour. Look, I'm all swollen. So if you know anybody, this is like real life fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue hitting. If you know anybody that has this. You know, it's like, I don't want people to feel bad for me. That's not what I want. That's not why I do this. Just be aware. Be aware that this is what it's like. My husband will probably order dinner out from somewhere. Usually when I'm, usually when I'm feeling icky like this, I either want cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers are my go-to food. Or Pizza Hut has a Pizone wrap thing that I, I I really like that so probably we'll order Pizza Hut for dinner I don't know I don't know all right well I'm gonna go make my hot chocolate I really don't have too many of these days anymore I used to have them a lot I used to get them like a lot in fact there was a time when I didn't get out of bed for it was months months but anyway this is it. This is my crash fibromyalgia. I'm going back to bed. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. This wasn't much of a video. I'm just showing you what fibromyalgia is like. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.